I thought Langenegger certainly was a difference maker in the contest last night, keeping his team in the game. No doubt, especially in that third period. I know Krajnik had a few great days in front of the net, and um, Langenegger stood, stood tall in there, and I thought Keener played really well also. So it was a good opening battle last night. This is where Minnesota State wants to play tonight, blow the, blow the dots. Score! No, nope, they're going to say no. Thought it might have counted. The whistle's going to go. Bellini had the shot. Going again, down low. That's Furry up on top, Hiroshi. Lakers scrambling defensively. Quick shot, rebound down loose. Goes just wide on a follow up is Furry and Grohl were down low and a by Heinemann on the play. And the Lakers are out 3 2 in the zone. Posted with the trailer. Bacos through a lot of traffic. A score. Mavericks got caught a little deep. Numbers back the other way on what ended up being kind of a four on two rush. And it's going to be, I believe, Heinemann getting credit for it, or it might have been also Jack Jeffers. We'll see here on the replay. Yeah, it looks like a little four on three, kind of a broken play, and the puck just kind of bounces to Jeffers in front of the net, and he capitalizes, obviously. Hiroshi, Kranich, Livingstone high in the slot down low. There is Hiroshi looking. Looking for another goal in the hit as well. I don't right. know exactly what the call was. We'll pick it up from the PA announcer. That one's off the post. A year ago, Mavericks with Pavel. Pavel from behind the net trying to stram one in, and then Livingstone was falling away from the puck and therefore really couldn't get anything on it as the rebound was there. Livingstone. Up on top, Hiroshi backhanded near side. Fitzgerald through the slot. Hiroshi will tee up a shot. Score! Yeah. Coach talked to us about puck movement before the game on the power play. That is the example of that. Guys really weren't skating with the puck. They were passing. It went up top in the slot to Hiroshi, and then Celia on the tip scores. Yeah, great seam pass there by uh, Fitzgerald over to Livingstone, and like what the coach was talking about before the game, quick one-touch pass from Livingstone to Hiroshi, gets the puck to the net, and then great tip by, uh, I believe it was Dave, either Celia or Sandlin. I think Sandlin two. got it too. I think yeah. that might have got redirected twice. Yeah. Yeah. Flipped up toward the net. Hiroshi puts one down low. Score! Isley was working out on top of the crease. He might, in fact, have tipped it, but Arosi was there, too. Arosi's going to lead the line, and if he gets the goal, it's his third and three game. He's on fire. Where is this coming from? Great job walking the blue line here. Uh, Keto's so good with the yeah. puck, especially in the offensive zone, and great job sifting that one through, and good screen in front. I think that one just kind of... Wow, he posted one. Great play there by Furry out of midair to take it. He's going to try to turn it with Borchardt. Furry, Borchardt out in front. Oh, and a huge save by Langenanger. Played the other way through some traffic. There's a play down low, and Rancier has to make the save as the player slides in to Rancier on the rush up the ice. Hiroshi, that's off the skate, but the Mavericks still hold with Celia gaining puck position. Out in front, Borchardt, and then he partially fanned as he had ridded himself of Kucharik on the play. And up to the top for Bingston, far side. Jeffers, Bingston thought of a shot down low. That's teed up in a blocker save. Bingston here. 